Hey, queens and kings. Hey, queens and kings. <laughs> Welcome back, queens and kings. In today's video, I have three high-end Pinterest-inspired DIYs for you all that I created for the fall. Now, these are some faux resident pumpkins decor. If you all would like to see how I made each and every one using Dollar Tree products as well as Amazon, please continue to watch. All right, all right, all right. I'm back, I'm back. I don't know how long I'm back, but I'm back. But I wanted to get this DIY to you all. I am sorry. I didn't mean to be gone no three months. Life just really took over. I'm sorry. But first thing first, you see here, I'm starting off with a Dollar Tree um, hollow pumpkin. Now, I was looking for some other pumpkins that was more full and filled. So therefore, I didn't have to go through this process or this step that I'm doing here. So basically, I am filling it in. So therefore, I can have some support of where I want to place the crystals and everything at. So I'm just reusing what I'm actually using. But we're going to continue doing that until I fill it all up. Now, with this right here, I pretty much made a mistake starting off with this pumpkin here. I, I'm just that rusty now. I, I'm sorry. I made a mistake when it came down to this. I really didn't know where I was going or what I was doing at the moment. So, later in the video, when you see me do the stackable pumpkins, you will see where I actually correct my wrong somewhat, but still use what I got to get what I want. But yeah, so I, your queen been gone for a good three months. I wasn't expecting to be gone for a good three months. I apologize to you all. I'm sorry, but I see we are still growing. So welcome to our new queens and kings. And hello to my old royalties. Y'all are diehard and I love it. I love it. I truly appreciate you all. I truly do. So moving on. We're going to take a step back and love me explaining. Now I'm basically here using some um, faux crystals that I had around the house. Now you can find these at the Dollar Tree if they do have them. Um, I get mine from off of Amazon because you got a bag of them. You get a, a great amount for your bank, for your buck. You get what I'm saying? So therefore, I will link it down below. Um, check out my Amazon store. So therefore, you can find anything that I'm just about that I did some type of DIY with. You can find it in my Amazon store. So basically, I'm using a hot glue here to actually form a place my crystals where I want them to be. I'm trying to cover up some of these holes and everything that I got going on here. Now, what I would say is when I first started off with this pumpkin, you see that it's orange. I was planning on to let it stay orange. But when I started putting more of the crystals on it and trying to just figure out what angle that I want to go was gold or silver, I should have just painted the pumpkin white, but um, eventually I'm going to paint that. So that was one of my mistakes that I did of trying to create this crystal pumpkin here. Now, let me move back to explaining, and I'm going to stop for a moment. So like I said, life really did take over. I wasn't planning to be gone that long or even be gone, period. But I did the usual that a lot of creators do, a blockage. You know, you feel like you don't create all that you could create or you just can't think outside the box. That's basically where I was, inside that box and couldn't get out of it. Um, I don't like to recreate the same thing I have created before on my channel or I really batter myself or try not to create what someone else has created but that's defeat the purpose because all this is inspiration so there's going to be a time or two that i'm gonna create something that someone else created but maybe i may create something different or use different products or something so that's what the diy world is all about so i was really bugging and really just beating down on myself pretty much So I'm just pretty much going to fill this all the way up until I get how I want it. But you see that it's heavy top, so it's falling over. So this was one of the mistakes here that I realized, I'm like, okay, what am I going to do now? Because I got to keep this to prevent it from falling over. And I'm going to show you guys that pretty soon, right in a moment. But now back to let me explain. So that's what I went through. I went through the, the blockage and I wasn't sure what to create, how to put out any type of creation. Because like I said, I don't like to recreate the same thing I have done before. 
So, if you follow me on my second channel, which is um, Queen Val Living, over there, you all will see a whole lot that I have been doing on that channel there to actually keep myself busy with YouTube. So, I haven't fully been off of YouTube. I just have not been on this channel here. So, as you all can see, I just opened the pumpkin up in half and I went and got some styrofoam. I'm just going to glue that in there just to make it a little bit heavier. And I'm going to put some of the faux crystals in there too so to put some weight on it. So, therefore, I don't have to worry about this topping over, falling over, anything like that. Okay, so like I said, I still been on YouTube. I just was on my home decor channel. So follow me over there. So therefore, you can check out a lot of things that I'm doing over there because I'm actually in the process of moving. Some more changes is coming in my life. So therefore, just follow me over there and support me over there if you're willing to and the ones that already do. I truly appreciate you guys for supporting both channels. So now I'm done with explaining what really much took over my life, <laughs> which is life. I hope you guys forgive me. I am going to try to get back to be consistent on this channel because, baby, this is my baby. This is what created me. This is how you all become aware of me, this channel here. So I can't let it go. I refuse to let it go. I put too much work in it. And like I said, we are receiving more and more queens and kings that are joining the channel regardless of the time that I've been off. So I guess my work does shows for me. If I'm not here, I have still have beautiful, easy, and affordable home decor projects that out that you all can create and you all are doing it so welcome welcome to our new queens and kings once again and shout out to our old royalties because you guys are doing your part as pushing the videos out there and i truly appreciate each and every one of you guys and i love you guys so so much so as you guys see i just basically glued that back down i glue everything in there to give me the support that i need now here I'm going to take this um, acrylic paint that I purchased from Walmart. And now this is where I'm going to start ahead of painting because now I made up my mind that I want the pumpkin to be white now. Like, honey, I was going through some changes with this. And as I was going through these changes, I was like, Val, you are really rusty of doing a DIY now. Like, rusty. Like, rusty. So I'm just going to paint this in. The one thing about this part here, it was very time consuming. So it actually took me two days to do these projects just because of paint. So that's why I was trying to find some pumpkins that was actually already white, but I couldn't find any. And then I forgot to actually just look on Amazon. You know, Amazon have everything. So I had to go through several coats to try to cover up the, this bright orange child. I had to go through several coats okay so basically this video is pretty much chopped up to get through these seven coats of covering this pumpkin so i'm gonna do each pumpkin like that Okay, so you see how the pumpkin look before now here on the outside is where the part of the faux resin look everything come in place I thought I wanted to do gold, so I did go but I actually did it off camera I totally forgot to hit record so like I said I'm really kind of dusty at this but I did not like the gold it wasn't popping enough for me something just wasn't about it right it looked too dull and then I could still see the orange in between. So I really had to go back and play with this pumpkin here for a while. So basically, I went back in with a metallic silver. So this is when my mind changed again. <laughs> again, on what color that I wanted. And like I said, I go back and I play around with this a lot off camera because I couldn't stand to see the orange through the crystals. So I had to figure something out to cover that up as best as possible and give me more of this little faux resin look that I seen on Pinterest. Now these um, pumpkins were so gorgeous on Pinterest, like, oh my God. So if you guys do resin and art, this would be a good DIY that you all can do like right now as, as well, even start selling them. Cause a lot of people like the resin and looks I see now. So I don't know, I may dab or two, a hand or two in that, but I'm not sure. So, okay, so this is the first coat of the with the silver and everything. So you see what I'm saying where you see 
the orange just seek it through so i'm trying my best to cover that up and cover up majority of this gold too as well but it actually gave me like this little pumpkin that i seen in a store before i think a lot of people call it the cinderella pumpkin it gave me that look there um y'all probably don't seen the pumpkin you may actually can picture what i'm saying but i'm just gonna continue doing this and then i'm gonna go back really off camera and this is where i totally forgot to really show this part because i thought i was done with this but i did not like it so what i did was when it add some glitter on it i add some of those little scatter table scatters um crystals um faux crystals and everything on it the same way that i added the paint and everything i just sprinkled glitter on it to give me a more of a sparkle look i try to still hide some of the orange even by going and putting white paint on the inside of it but it still gave me the look that i was going for i like this i really love the way that it turned out it's something easy and affordable simple to do but i would say queens and kings if you all do just have all your stuff lined up because i did not have everything lined up i was just trying to go off the top of my dome to recreate this so i hope you queens and kings enjoyed it now moving on to the vase now this one here is pretty much popular you see that that orange paint that you see where I had went ahead and tried to pre-paint and you still can see the orange. But anyways, I just took the top off of it, made a little wider hole. So therefore, I could start placing flowers in there. Now, I did purchase these roses here from Amazon. I will link them down below as well. Um, shop my home decor um, Amazon store. So therefore, you can follow find a lot of things that i do have in my home that you may see that you like and you can shop for yourself and you know purchase it for yourself um i do get a little bit of coins if you do guys if you guys do purchase anything from my amazon store which it does not affect you all at no cost or form or fashion but i do just get a smaller coin just because i pretty much recommend it for you but i'm gonna continue filling up my vase because that's basically what this is here um and i was gonna leave it like this with the flowers but something just wasn't right about this i don't know y'all i really am dust at this <laughs> at this point so i'm trying to get back into the groove of everything but i feel like i lost my mojo So our vase is filled already and I just have it staggered on top of a DIY that I did a while back. But the part that you all did not see where I added the silver paint around it, just to give it a little bit more touches, you know, bring out some of the silver since I wanted to basically match with the other pumpkin. And I just sprinkled glitter on it. That was it. This is cute, simple, and affordable. Easy can do. You can also get flowers from the Dollar Tree as well to do this. A lot of these picks I had for a while here. Um... I got them from different stores, so I can't really link nothing down for them. Now, moving on to the last and final. This one here was the next day. Now, I was like, oh, I want to do a stackable one. Let me try to do a stackable one. So, I got a lot of Dollar Tree products, all these pumpkins here from the Dollar Tree, using that acrylic white paint from Walmart and Walmart brush. So, what I'm going to do off camera is basically go ahead and pull the toppings off, like the stems of each one of the pumpkins. And I'm pretty much going to stack these up from big to smallest, pretty much. Now, you see, this one here was orange, and I went on and took off that little fold paint that they had on it but it was accidentally because when i went to taking the stem off it actually came off so i was like okay i could do that now one thing i like about the white styrofoam pumpkin is because the styrofoam they feel all the way through now that's what i was looking for in walmart but could not find them so as you all can see i have already stacked them up i have already painted i did all of that off camera just to save me some time so i won't be on this project for a whole week because honey I'm telling you, trying to paint that orange pumpkin is crazy. So here I'm going to take a knife, a butter knife, and I'm going to just carve out where I want to basically carve the center out. So therefore, this was the area I will be basically um, putting my crystals and everything at. 
Once I get my outline, I'm basically just going to continue just carving it out with the knife. All right, Queens and Kings, so now that I done carved pretty much everything out, now the bottom punk is where I'm going to make my first hole, so therefore I can start filling it in. Now, back again, like I said, if you can find a punk that does not is not hollow or anything like this, you won't have to do this stuff. You basically do the stuff that I did with the top, the two top pumpkins. So, instead of me trying to find something to go in here, I'm basically going to reuse all the carving that I have carved out, and I'm going to stuff that in there. I'm going to use hot glue to stuff it in there, and then I'm going to add some more of the faux crystals, as well as the styrofoam that I used all from the first pumpkin that I did. I'm using what I have, because like I said, a lot of this i became very rusty on it and i didn't think it through and i really wasn't sure what i was going to use for this bottom part but i was like why not just recycle what we have so that's pretty much what's going to help me to hold this down so therefore i don't have to worry about this falling over Okay, so I, off camera, I went ahead and painted all that up just to fill it in some more. So, therefore, I don't have that orangey look like I had from the um, first pocket. So, I learned a few things as I was creating this. So, now I'm just going to basically use the hot, group, the hot glue. And I am using the Gorilla Glue Sticks from Walmart. Because a lot of you queens ask that a lot in some of my videos. So, basically, I'm just going to um, place a lot of hot glue. And I'm just going to start placing all the crystals on there as much as I could. And then I'm gonna actually downsize to smaller crystals because these bigger crystals here is what help weighing this pumpkin down. So I ain't gotta worry about it falling over. All right, so now moving on to the smaller crystals and I did purchase these from Amazon. All the crystals I purchased from Amazon, I will um, link them down below once again in my storefront so basically here what I, I am doing now is to cover up some of the big and bulky crystals because I won't be using them up to the top I'm using the smaller one and I'm just packing this on placing glue and pack it on you can't go wrong with this part here at all well you really can't go wrong with this at all because it's basically to the look of how you like it how you want it to look so you guys have seen a lot of the faux resins art the projects that a lot of the creators are doing and they are doing phenomenal jobs with these um like i said i'm gonna try to dab my hammer too in them but you see they have a lot of crystals on them and then they go ahead and start to shape it up how they want it to look so that's pretty much what i'm doing and i'm just going to continue doing this from the bottom pocket to the second to the third pumpkin
All right, so we have our final look and now we're gonna start to outline the crystals to make it pop a little bit more. So instead of me doing the gold that I did before, the mistake that I did not want to happen, I'm just gonna go right on in with the silver one. Now you can't mess this up because the messier it look, the better that it look and it make it look 3D and it stands out and it pops. And I'm gonna do that all the way around the whole entire pumpkin. Okay, so after that is done, I'm going back with some glitter to make it pop. Now, this portion here, if you have some very sparkly metallic paint, I would say use that. You wouldn't have to even go through this step here, but I needed this to pop and I needed the crystals to pop and I wanted it to be shiny and sparkle and so beautiful and elegant. So here I'm taking some of this um, clear glue that I got from Walmart and I'm using those faux crystals table scatters. That's pretty much what they're going to be called pretty much on Amazon. And I'm using that to place the um, crystals down the faux diamond crystal rhinestones or whatever you want to call it you know you see these rhinestone sheets that's pretty much what those are but they in table scatter forms so i'm using that to create that on the side and i'm gonna let that dry a little bit then i'm gonna move on to the next side because it's glue but this is pretty much how it turned out i love the way that it turned out it is so pretty and sparkling so beautiful great for fall great for a glam fall because you know they be forgetting about us glamorous peoples, us elegant people. So I really like this and I wanted to create it for you all because when I seen it on Pinterest, I was just mind blown. I was like, now nah, that is beautiful. That is bad. I love it. I love it. I have to create it because this is more of my style. Now, you can paint this whatever color you want it to be. Or, you know, do all of that. And I did also glitter out the stem, which you guys didn't get to see that. But this is how all three look together. And this is pretty much how I'm going to style all three on my coffee table. How I will leave it out or wherever I desire to put it at on a nightstand. Because they are small. So, therefore, they're small and, and compact. You can basically put it wherever you want to put it at in your home. Um, I love it. So, if you Queens and Kings enjoyed this video... Please give me a like, a thumbs up. That's what I mean. <laughs> Comment down below, share the video, and subscribe if you love loving my type of DIYs. Because they all are affordable. Nothing that's going to break the bank, I promise you. Because I'm cheap when it comes down to that there. And I feel like uh, it's, if it's DIY, that means it should be affordable. But anyways, I hope you queens and kings enjoy this. If you do all did do all those things for me i truly appreciate it we're almost at fifty-three thousand. we're trying to get to sixty thousand. so therefore we can go ahead and move on up the chart and get our hundred thousand plaque so with that being said queens and kings i will talk to you all in the next video you guys continue to be royal bye bye i love you all